Now, back to the last force, gravity. It turns out to be the only force that isn't part of the standard model. The reason for this is we don't have a quantum model for gravity, and we have found no evidence for messenger particle for this force. We do, however, already have a name if such a particle is ever discovered, the graviton. Now, evidence for gravitational waves was just found by the LIGO collaboration, including some members of the ANU. This means that Einstein's theory of general relativity was right about the existence of these classical waves. But we don't yet have an idea of how to build up an experimentally verifiable quantum theory that is consistent with these observations, as well as all the other observations confirming Einstein's theories of relativity. So there's still more work to be done on this front. Everything we've learned up until now was first put together into a standard model of particle physics in 1974. To this day, the standard model is the most complete quantum model explaining what matter consists of and how it interacts. And when we test for physics beyond the standard model, we're searching for clues that the theory we've come up with thus far is perhaps derived from a bigger, possibly more elegant, and more importantly, experimentally verifiable story. In the next video, we're going to learn about how the standard model of physics can be used to understand what might have happened during the birth of our universe as we know it.